does it um, have a game like this where you guys played pretty well, but just kind of were outmatched in a way? Like, is that is it kind of hard to have a match like that where you guys were doing pretty well, it just wasn't kind of bouncing your way? Yeah, I think it's beyond frustrating where you're doing consistently doing the right things throughout the game, and then maybe just one lapse of concentration or one little slip up or one bounce goes their way and bang, they finish their chances. So, I mean, that's what good teams do. And um, obviously, expansion teams are you're still working on that uh, cohesiveness and how to deal with, with all situations. So, with new teams, it's, it's almost like you find new ways, new ways to like lose or new ways to like give up the game. So, um, it's the frustrating part of the game, but obviously we'll. We've got a lot of time before the next game and do everything we can to, to give it back to them when we go out there. Were there specific things that you saw? Like, I mean, is it helpful the fact you're going to face them again in two weeks and you have this kind of extra week to mm -hmm. really prepare for it? So were there certain things that you saw that you were saying, like, okay, that's going to be more this week? Um, I think the team like Seattle would think, obviously, the first 20 minutes of the second half, I thought we, that was probably our best patch of the game where they barely got out of their half and we had attack after attack after attack, but I think that's we've got to learn to, to get something out of that. And then they just kill off all our momentum with their third goal and I think with this next two weeks preparing, I think we just need to learn with our attacking shape, just to be more organised because obviously they're very dangerous on their counter attack. So I think that's where most of their uh, chances came from. When we're back and organised, it's tough to break us down, but I think we, we can improve on our attacking check with it.